Report. National reports have called out our country's obesity problem and the impact it can have in building a successful military, which is why on Fort Carson you'll find a resiliency campus with anything and everything to keep our soldiers in shape. What kind of training, son? Army training, sir! In the 1981 movie Stripes, they make light of Army training, but there's nothing light about it. More than half our soldiers are struggling with it. Currently, 62% of the Army is overweight or obese. So we're going to place the client back on the mask. A few months ago, I, I got to my peak at about 235 pounds. Meet Sergeant Ryan Musil. Gotten a little bit older, so metabolism slows down. You start moving a little bit slower. He tried to deny it for a while. You're at 70% of your maximal heart rate. I actually kind of hit it. Um, I bought the bigger uniforms and stuff, so it, it puffed up. But that only lasted so long. The peers and people that I work with a lot of the time, they, they could still tell and they used to make, you know, chubby jokes and stuff like that. So that, that was really what motivated me to, to, uh, to start working out. Between that and the staff at the Army Wellness Center on Fort Carson, Ryan is making progress. We're taking every uh, soldier with height weight failure in the brigade and we're bringing them through here in mass. We add it all up and that's how many calories the client burns in a day. It's a testing with the education piece that really helps and has proven to work on soldiers to help them lose weight. There are three tests. First, body fat. Okay, Ryan, just have a seat. All right. You're going to breathe naturally and limit movement, please, okay? Step into the state-of-the-art bod pod. If you just weigh yourself on a scale, you don't know if you're gaining muscle or losing fat or anything. So what the bod pod does, it breaks it down for you, and it will be able to tell through calculations exactly uh, how much of Ryan is, uh, the soldier is, um, body fat versus how much is lean tissue. The results are pretty instant. Fat mass is decreased. Way to go, babe. Next, the metabolism test. The key to this test is to not talk and not fall asleep. This test gives the soldier an idea of how many calories they need in order to lose weight and reach their goals. All your vital functions are going to be measured with this test. Now I want you to grab that. Now keeping your back straight, your knees slightly bent, looking straight up, I want you to pull up as hard as you can, okay? Ready to go. And finally, the physical test. This test is based upon his heart rate, based upon age. Now let's go ahead and put this heart rate monitor on. For a civilian, these tests could cost $1,200 each time. Here, it's free to soldiers and their spouses. Once they see the money that's been put into this program and the benefits it could have to them, they really uh, leave here with a, a lot of motivation. Ryan is down to 202 right now. Remember, he started at 2 35. Trying to get down to 185, but if I can get below that, then, then hey, it's bonus. And he's still got about 17 more pounds to reach that goal. The excuses will always be there for the soldier, but we're going to give them every opportunity and every tool possible in order to help them reach their goals and be mission ready. So am I to understand that you men completed your training on your own? That's the fact, Jack! Well, Tony says the cost to maintain a state-of-the-art facility are not as high as the cost to fight diseases that come with being overweight, like diabetes, hypertension, and orthopedic injuries. That bod pod you saw was $80,000. It's only about four months old, and already more than 2,000 soldiers have used it. Terry?